Yeah, we are celebrating Tim Minchin Week here, and we're in New York City in our fishbowl studio. By the way, Tim, uh, what do you think of this fishbowl? Do you, do you think it's amazing? It's, it's like a fish. It's like being a fish. <laughs> It's not, it's not actually like being a fish. For the listeners, uh, it's a glass. It's like a tank, more like a fish tank. A bowl would have curvature. This is a tank, you shouldn't tell, you shouldn't tell people it's a bowl. It is officially it a, changed. It's a, a, officially changed, is that a pun you just did? <laughs> it's a fish tank. It's official, it's a fish tank. I'm glad somebody caught onto that, mm-hmm. thank you. No worries, man. I'm always here for you to highlight your stupidity. <laughs> <laughs> this is a song. This is a song for my um, my wife, who I lost my virginity to 18 years ago. Uh, I always feel like qual- qualifying that statement by saying I've shagged other chicks, but I don't need to because we have been together most of our lives. And this is a song for her. If I didn't have you to hold me tight, if I didn't have you to lie with that night. If I didn't have you to share my signs And to kiss me and dry my tears When I cry, well I really think that I would Have somebody else If I didn't have you, someone else would do Your love is one in a million You couldn't buy it at any price but of the 9.999900,000 other possible loves, statistically, some of them would be equally nice. Or maybe not as nice, but say, smarter than you, or dumber, but better at sport, or colouring. I'm just saying I probably, if I were a rich man, Diddle, 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 I guess I would be with a surgeon or a model or a rally of the royals or a Kennedy or an infomaniacal exhibitionist heiress to a large chain of hotels. If I were a rich man, maybe I would fiddle, fiddle, diddle, diddle with the rich man girls. I'm not saying that I'd not love you if I were wealthy or handsome, but realistically, there's lots of fish in the sea. And if I had a different rod, I would conceivably land some, even though I am fiscally consistently pitiable and considerably less Brad Pitt than Brad Pitt. Am I really so poor and ugly that you think only you could possibly love me and I? I think I probably... Look, I'm not undervaluing what we've got when I say that given the role chaos inevitably plays in the inherently flawed notion of fate, it's abstruse to deduce I found my soulmate at the age of 17. It's just mathematically unlikely that at a university in Perth I happen to stumble on the one girl on earth specifically designed for me. And if I may conjecture a further objection, love has nothing to do with destined perfection. The connection is strengthened, the affection simply grows over time like a flower or a mushroom or a guinea pig or a vine or a sponge or bigotry or a banana and love is made more powerful by the ongoing drama of shared experience and the synergy of a kind of symbiotic empathy or something like that so I trust it goes without saying that I would feel really very sad if tomorrow you were to fall off something high or catch something bad but I'm just saying I don't think you're special I mean, I obviously think you're special, but you fall within a bell curve. I mean, I'm just saying I... I think I'd probably... I think you are unique and beautiful. You make me happy to spa being around. But objectively, you would have to agree that, baby, when I found you, options are relatively thin on the ground. You're lovely, but there must be girls as lovely as you and maybe more open to spanking or table tennis. I'm just saying, I, I think I'd probably... I mean, I reckon it's pretty likely that if, for example, my first girlfriend Jackie hadn't dumped me after I kissed Winston's ex-girlfriend Nia at Steph's party back in 1993, enough variables would probably have been altered by the absence of that event to have meant the advent of a tangential narrative in which we don't meet, which is to say there exists a theoretical, hypothetical, parallel life where what is is not as it is, and I'm not your husband, and you are not my wife, and I am a stuntman living in L.A., married to a small blonde Portuguese ski, who when she's not training does abstract painting practices yoga and brews her own beer and really likes making home movies and suffers neck down alopecia 
a little bit of isolated. But with all my heart and all my mind, I know one thing is true. I have just one life and just one love, and my love, that love is you. And if it wasn't for you, darling, you, yeah, I think I'd almost definitely have somebody else. Someone else 